What is going on guys? What is going on 27 squad? Welcome back into another video and we have some news for you guys not breaking news I'm sure you guys have already heard this news But the Giants have just made some moves that we've been asking for for a while now ever since last year to be exact um, Alec Ogletree and Kareem Martin have been released from the New York Giants as you guys know these guys were demanding some pretty high contracts and it just didn't equate in the production and the play sure alec ogletree is constantly up there as far as tackles he has a lot of interceptions but if you just watch his game film watch his film um watch the games he's just not as good as everybody thinks he is or the stats say he is that's why you should never pay attention to too many stats and top of that kareem martin to see kareem martin was slated to be a starter before all these other players came in he was uh, he was signed i believe two years ago uh, as we drafted Lorenzo Carter, so we, we signed Kareem Martin and then uh, drafted Lorenzo Carter and then the next year drafted O'Shane Zimenez and so with that, you know, with a crowded, uh, you know, inside, I mean, outside linebacker group, uh, crowded edge rusher group, Kareem Martin was just not getting a lot of opportunities and on top of that, he's demanding a, a bigger contract a bigger contract than what he's worth so it was a great idea to let go of Kareem Martin um, as well as Alec Ogletree and let's take a look uh, look at these numbers here uh, According to spotrack.com if you guys don't know what spotrack.com is pretty much what a lot of people use including myself uh, Use uh, to look at you know contract uh, details and you know free agency and things like that and pretty much everything you want is in this website This is not sponsored by the way, but I love spot rack So uh, that's what I'm using here and here we are in the build the roster manage roster section of the New York Giants on spotrack.com and it says here uh, if you know before before these cuts are made the Giants have a projected amount of 58 million dollars in cap room which is a decent amount the Giants never really have that much um, on a consistent basis so we have 58 million as of right now and if we cut Alec Ogletree it's gonna jump up to 66 million dollars and then when we cut Kareem Martin away from this here it now adds up to 71 million dollars so the Giants have an extra almost 20 million dollars in cap space to work with um, about 15 or so to work with so this gives the Giants a lot of opportunities to go somewhere and get at least one big free agent my guy is um, it has got to be Jack Conklin the right tackle if we don't go high if the Giants don't have a plan to go high and get like a Jedrick Wills or Tristan Wirfs or Andrew Thomas in the draft if they want to get an offensive lineman, um, it, then that's then that's their thing. But I would want Jack Conklin at right tackle, um, possibly possibly get an offensive tackle in the draft. But um, you know you can get a Jadavion Clowney if you want to. I'm not really big on Jadavion Clowney. News came out that Yannick Ngakwe is wanting 22 million dollars. So I don't know if I'm gonna go 22 million dollars. I said Yannick Ngakwe to me is gonna be worth about eight, you know I think I said it's 15 in the video. I maybe overpaid him to about 18, 19. Uh, but man, 22 million dollars. The market value is there for Yannick Ngakwe. I just don't know if I would do that. Uh, so you got a lot of options there at with 71 million dollars to at least get one big free agent uh, I would say either edge rusher Jack Conklin um, You know try to get a corner or, or yeah, just get a really good experienced corner so, To let these other guys develop and not be matched up on number one guys constantly But I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below guys Do you guys think we go after Corey Littleton now now that we have an open gap there at inside linebacker yes we have ryan connolly coming back i am extremely excited about ryan connolly but in that 3-4 scheme that we're running 4-3-3-4 it's a hybrid but most of the time we're probably operating with two inside linebackers so ryan connolly and uh you know maybe throwing Corey littleton in there if you guys want or kyle van Noy seems to be a popular opinion now um, so a, a bunch of options out there guys. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below Kareem Martin and Alec Ogletree have been released for the New York Giants Opening up uh, opening up the Giants to getting 71 million dollars in uh, Cap space this year. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video